Welcome back to the channel. I have the transporter out today and that's because I am an hour north of Flint, Michigan. Behind me is the shed containing my next group of barn finds. I was not the person that found these barn finds, so I got what was left over, but I still got some pretty cool stuff. I was offered the MGB, but I am not taking that. But on the other side of the B, we have a couple Barkley cars. I think these are both three cylinders. There was another Barkley car here, a very interesting one, but unfortunately I did not get that one. And then over here we have two Elvas. Obviously they are going to need some repair, but it looks like everything is probably here. Lots of MGA spares. And I'm also getting this car that's under the cover here, but we'll save that one for later. It's the next day and I'm back now. It was an 11 hour drive there, 11 hour drive back. And this was one day after I had just got back from racing at the Ozarks, which was about a seven or eight hour drive as well. The cars are going to look a little different now because I did put pieces on and sort things out as I was unloading them. This first car is a Mark IV Elva. I did get an extra windscreen for this car, but the one on the car is not broken. This car looks fairly complete and just in need of bodywork. Let's take a look under the bonnet because the Mark IV can be powered by either the 1600 or the 1800. Luckily, someone did tape the carburetors, so the engine has not been open on the intake side. As we have learned on this channel, Animals can crawl up the exhaust and come in through the exhaust ports, though. This particular car is one of the last 20 Mark IVs ever produced, and it looks like it has a 1622 engine in it right now. Oh, no, look at that. Just saw there's a mouse nest in the distributor hole. So this engine is going to have to be fully disassembled to clean out whatever the mice have done inside there. But there are literally mice living inside this engine. But like I mentioned before, this car is pretty intact and these mark fours i think the fiberglass is a bit thicker than on the earlier cars this seems to be a much more substantial car than the earlier elvas Let's see if there's anything in the boot looks like the fuel tank is out of its bracket it would go right there pretty clean car who knows if the odometer's correct but this one is showing 9403 miles Looks like we have a neat Elva hubcap. I hope there's some more sitting around. Got another bonnet badge, some wheel caps. Convertible frame is there. The next car is a Barkley SE328, which would have a two-cylinder, two-stroke engine. The one that I restored a few years ago is tucked away over here with my bikes. On this car, we can see how everything should look. And if we open the bonnet on this car... You can see pretty much everything is in place here. This could have been a running and driving car and nobody has taken anything apart on it yet. We have the windscreen, the convertible top, the side curtains are here. This does not look like the original seat, so I think it has been reupholstered at some point. Odometer is showing 10,310 miles. All the gauges and switches are in shape. It's nice to have these original knobs. These are very hard to find. All the cars that I'm showing here, I did not get any keys with, so I'm going to have to get some keys made so that I can open these up. So I do not have access to the boot area right now. If we pull the seat down, we can see that the spare is in place. Uh, yeah, someone has redone the seat and they've used straps for that original webbing. I was able to find the original material when I restored mine. And I just noticed someone made some nice door panels for this car. These cars did not come with door panels like that. And I think that's a cute little aftermarket shift knob there as well. The original shift knob would have been made out of Bakelite. Moving on to the next barn Barkley. I did get a bunch of extra panels. I have an extra bonnet, at least partial one here. I have an, a door. I have a ton of side curtains and just tons of extra parts for these things. There's even an extra boot lid there. So if we open up the bonnets, you can see there's nothing in here. But in the parts, there is a three-cylinder engine. So this car may be one of the three-cylinder cars. So I believe this car to be an SE492. Oh, and I just noticed if you look inside the headlight bucket, the three coils are in place, so that confirms this is an SE-492 three-cylinder car. 
This car is just filled with parts. We have wiring in here, a bunch of engine parts. We have some extra steering wheels. These, I believe, did come from the Triumph Herald. We do have all of the gauges, and this one is showing 2,781 miles. And the dashboard has a little bit different arrangement from the other two cars. There was actually so many Barkley parts that I couldn't even put them all over there in the cars. You can see the cute little exhaust, the little springs and shocks. This thing here actually goes onto the wheels, and this is what holds the hubcap to the wheels. One of the convertible tops is in here. actually got a bunch of convertible tops. I threw a couple away because the mice had just done too much damage to them. Here's one of the AML carburetors. These cars could be powered by one, two, or three AML carburetors, depending on setup. And the last car, this is an Elva Mark II. The front end of this car was actually sitting outside and almost went to the scrapper, and we rescued it just at the last minute I was able to kind of temporarily just set it on there again i got an extra bonnet i have an extra windscreen although both windscreens are cracked i think these might be the seats for this car everything was just thrown in piles and was just all over the place so i tried to sort everything out the best i could i have an extra boot lid the mark one two and three have this basic body style and then the mark fours were redesigned probably to make the car cheaper and then the mark fives are a completely different car as our subsequent marks after that let's take a look in the boot you can see this car has a different fuel tank arrangement oh there's a mouse nest up there just various bits and bobs in here this car was being fitted with a new dashboard i did get several dashboards uh, unfortunately i have not seen the gauges yet or the original dashboard, so hopefully that will turn up somewhere. I do have a couple extra doors for this car, including the original door panels. And I have a shipping crate full of all kinds of other parts, so if these are not the correct seats, let me know. I am going to show some of the other extra parts that I have. If those seats should be in this car instead, let me know and I'll get those swapped over. Let's take a look under the bonnet. The engine is wrapped up, but that is an MGA engine. This car was wrecked, but it's still fairly intact. I also loaded up tons of stuff that was there in the garage. I've got seats, doors, there's a fuel tank there. I'm not sure even what this stuff goes to. I know that this is a door skin, carbon fiber door skin for an Elva. That seat, not sure what it goes to, but I wanted to grab as much stuff as I could. That way this could be sorted out later if anyone recognizes what the steering wheel might go to. Those little overriders there, those might be Barkley, but I'll have to take a look at some of this stuff. I see there's some MGA stuff in there. All kinds of stuff hidden in here. So I do have this crate of extra parts. So if I do get around to fixing one of the cars, find that I'm missing something, hopefully it's hidden in here. So just as I was wrapping up my series with the Barn Find Sprites, these things fell into my lap. Let me know if you think I should restore any of these cars. Let me know if you think I should repower a Barkley with something else. And also, don't forget, I did pick up another car, so give me a guess of what's under this blue cover here in the comments below. I will be showing you what's under the cover in the next video, so if you want to see that, make sure that you comment below and click subscribe.